the door open. <laughs> this is good enough. My tongue will boil yet. Am I a boy Oh, that yet? just made me ten times worse. Do I look like a boy yet? <laughs> Do you want a hat? Where's your pink hat? No, that handbag does not look right with that outfit. I'm sorry, you look. If you take tacky. this off, yeah. To if you take that off, you look good. But then people are like, oh my god, what is that? Timber Creek? Oh. Oh my. Everyone's gonna know what Timber Creek is. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up, guys? I'm back. Uh, I'm looking a little rough right now. Today is Tuesday, and I have to post tomorrow, which you guessed it. It Today is Tuesday, and uh, I have to post tomorrow, which you guessed it is really unprofessional. Today I'm here with two of my really, 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 really good friends. Come on in the frame. <laughs> hey! Hi. Hey! How are you? I'm great, how are you? That's amazing, I see you every day. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, we were in the car, we were thinking, and we, we were like just going on rants on stories about all the lies that we told. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, finding out that we are liars and that yep. we deserve to go to hell. I'm gonna tell you my deepest, darkest, darkest, really dark secrets. So. We've told so many lies. Oh no, yeah, for sure, no, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh no, do you know, you know, <laughs> which one of y'all bitches aren't telling the truth to? Because I know, you know some, of, some of y'all are gonna be in the comments and be like, Oh my god, you guys were such liars. You're such a bad person. I bet you're still a liar today. You social climbing fuck. I know that you're still a liar. And my response to that is, I know you lied too. I know you didn't tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth in middle school. I know you didn't. So I want you to leave in the comments down below if you hate me or not. What the fuck you told in middle school and partially high school. Maybe. We all lied. Maybe. Oh no, yeah, for sure. To, yeah, definitely. We did. to make no. people think we're cool. I mean, we all lied. I still lied to my parents, but like, whatever. Why do you do that? <laughs> that? I don't know why I'm bullshitting you. I still do that shit too. <laughs> <laughs> Mine? Oh. Okay. Okay, so ever since I was really young, like four years old, I don't know, like, yeah, four years old, I think I saw like my first paranormal like activity going on like my house. So I've been dealing with like paranormal shit my whole life. Don't what? act like you don't. I, I know there's something in your house. My don't talk all that shit whenever you <laughs> have it. I've been dealing with this for a long time. I'm no longer like scared of the shit that happens. But whenever I was like 11 years old, <laughs> no, maybe younger, maybe 10, I thought it was so funny to do this like ghetto persona, like ghetto like voice and shit, and it was really bad. It was really cringy. And I, I used to think that I was so cool, like, and I was like, everyone's laughing with me, and they were laughing at me. I was, there was one time where my apartment <laughs> stopped doing what you're doing. Stop doing that. Stop, 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 stop. Sorry, can I be in this? I don't give a fuck. I walked by my bathroom, which was right by my room, because some shit had happened earlier that night, and I was really scared. And so I thought it would be the perfect thing to, and I was trying to, like, assert my dominance type shh. And I would, I would be like, <laughs> like that, but serious, bro, like serious, like I was dead ass, like I was just trying to like assert my dominance, but <laughs> like that, bro, it was really bad. Well, okay, that that Every was that was one of the way. softer ones. Let's start softer. There you go. When I was in fifth grade, I think um, I didn't go to school with my brother, so everybody hated siblings back then. So I told everybody I was the only child. <laughs> And nobody knew who my family was, and then they came for graduation day, my fifth grade graduation, and my entire family came, and everybody was like, I thought, I'm pretty sure you didn't have a family. <laughs> like, Speaking of not having a family, I, that's my next one, bro. Hold on. And I was like, everybody hated siblings, so I just thought I was the only child. They were like, why would you disown your family? I had told everyone that my best friend was my twin sister, but we looked nothing alike. Like, she was blonde. I did this shit all <laughs> the time, She was blonde, bro. and I was like, no, this is my twin, and it, no. I used, to, out. <laughs> I used to do this shit all the fucking time, bro. I would be like, yeah. Like, one of my best friends would be like, yeah, she's my sister. And like, <laughs> every time. Oh my god, there was one time where the, me and this girl, or me, whatever, I'm not gonna say her name. But like, <laughs> me and this girl were like really good friends, and so this these people would always ask, like, oh, is that your sister? Like, what's up? Like. I, are you related? And I'd be like, yeah. And they'd be like, why don't you look anything alike? I'd be like, well, my mom divorced my dad. And then we all had a family or some shit, <laughs> stupid shit like that. Uh, totally unbelievable. However, people believed it. So, <laughs> here I am. 
is not really funny. Well, it's funny, but <laughs> like it's not it's not in the best taste. It wasn't funny back then. However, it's funny now. It's funny. Um, your, your, oh your my mind, parasite. Your parasite. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I was in about like seventh grade or some shit, I was really, really, really behind in school, and I was like, "What can I do <laughs> to get, you know, absolutely everything off my shoulders and like have my teachers feel bad for me?" Hmm, what could I say? Oh, my parents died. The worst thing you <laughs> My parents so. died. My parents died. Not only did they die, but they died in the car accident. <laughs> <laughs> so I told every single one of my teachers that my parents had died in a car accident. Okay. Th that, that, that's that. But, like, the story, get, the story gets more juicy than that. So, as you know, whenever a student is behind, especially in middle school, they call their parents. I said I was in foster care. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not. I, oh. He's dead ass serious. I did not know. So they had not even called my parents, not even emailed them, whatever. Like, it was halfway through the year. I was doing so bad, and my mom was like, "I'm gonna hold you back a year if you don't do your shit." And I was like, "Mom, please, I'm going to do it." Like, shut up. <laughs> and I, like me and my procrastinating ass self, I you know didn't never do did it. it. <laughs> my mom came up to the school. And they were like, she was like, oh, I'm here for Aaron Fuller. And like, I would like to talk to his teacher to have like a meeting. And they were like, Aaron Fuller. Hmm. Okay. And so they called all my teachers and they were like, oh, uh, Mrs. Fuller wants to have like a, you know, meeting with you. And they were like, <laughs> Mrs. Fuller. <laughs> and so my mom walks in to the conference and it was after school and I had to sit outside of the door while they all talked. <laughs> they then found out that my parents did not die. <laughs> they were they were basically like, didn't you die? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying they were, like, they were like, um, Aaron told us that you died in a car accident <laughs> and that he's in foster care. And I was like, oh shit. So like one year my sister got this little like, do you remember those little like iPod shuffle things? Like oh, those yeah. little clip ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So funny shit. She got one of those for Christmas. She got one of those for Christmas and my friend was talking to me about how like bad they wanted one. And I was like, oh, I was like, my sister got one. I was like, do you want it? And so, I mean, I, I kind of stole it from my sister. <laughs> and, then, and then when my mom asked me about it, I told her that someone else came to the house and stole it. And then she had to sit down and talk to each and every one of my friend's parents and ask them, like, if their kid did it. And I just kind of sat back and I was like, okay, fine, mom. It was me. <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry, but it was me. I love how you guys... The stories are so mild, and mine just like I lied about my parents dying. In a <laughs> <laughs> that, like, I was a weird fucking middle schooler. Well, I mean, at that, and I was really behind, so I was gonna have to think of something really drastic just to get my ass out of some work for a month. <laughs> so <laughs> this is the one that everyone's going to preferably judge me for. <laughs> <laughs> so whenever I was about wait, what age did my mom say? Like nine, ten? Yeah, like nine, ten. Like nine. Maybe 10. <laughs> I'm gonna say 10. So I was 10 years old. Oh, no, I don't know. I don't even funny. know this yet. This is funny. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I was really bored, you know what I mean? And, and <laughs> it so happened that I went to the park with my friend Haley, and I may or may not have pretended that I had amnesia. <laughs> Going home, taking a nap, <laughs> and then waking up and being like, Who is everyone? <laughs> and my mom came in and I was like, Who are you? And she was like, And I remember her saying her name is Betty. And I was like, Oh, hi, Betty. <laughs> and she was like, Okay, Aaron, what do you want for dinner? And she goes, Burgers or pizza? And I was like, What are those? <laughs> I was just full on pretending to have amnesia. And my mom called 911. And the bitch <laughs> on the line, she was like, She was like laughing. On the line, apparently. My mom said so. My mom was like, oh, she was laughing on the line, and she <laughs> she was like, well, it doesn't sound like he has amnesia, but bring him in, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> and then so, we were about to go to the emergency room, right? And we were walking out to the car, right, in the parking lot. And I walk straight to my mom's car. <laughs> straight to her fucking car, bro. Straight to it. And she was like, <laughs> wait. How do you know this is my car? <laughs> and I was like, 
what's a car? <laughs> she was like, get your ass out of the car. She like, was what? telling me that he was like, oh, I just, I remember the pictures inside. And like, <laughs> so, like, I remember like the bumper, the My car. memory started coming back to me as soon as my mom caught the fuck out of me. And I was like, I remember the pictures. <laughs> 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 And then I went back inside and proceeded with my day. Oh, he was just bored. <laughs> I just was bored at nine years old, so as one does, pretends to have amnesia. Because <laughs> it was really funny. It's not the shit one either. It's shit. the other one. <laughs> I oh my god, it. speaking of lower... I was supposed to say lower class. Speaking of, um... <clears throat> earlier memories, this bear right here has been mine. His name is Barry. <laughs> He's, his mouth is coming His name is Barry? That's, he's old, don't do that to him. Stop! To, he looks like lime green kind of in person. Oh, yeah. He's Did he dirty. come like that? No, he, no he's just really dirty. <laughs> um, I've had this hoe since I was three. And he's been through a shitstorm of life. So, uh, I remember one time that I threw him in the toilet and tried to flush him because I didn't want him anymore. And that's what all kids do whenever they don't want toys. Just try to flush them down him? the toilet. No. It wasn't! A dirty toilet. Man. How are you raised? I've never tried to flush <laughs> I down. Never have I never have either. I used to save them in boxes. My mom would be like, give them to me. And I was like, no, and I'd hide them. <coughs> I like him. I used to decapitate my Barbies. And that's what I'm going to When your mom grabbed you, did she ever like, try to take anything away from you? My mom took my iPod in my freshman Bro, year. No, my mom used to take my makeup. My mom used to take my it. Wizard 101 membership away from me. <laughs> and I flip my shit. I would be like, Mom! You know I play this all the time! And I would play it, I'm not kidding you, I would play this game for 12 hours at a time, though, and I would forget to eat. I would me. forget, I would I played That's why I was such a skinny kid, I would hours. not eat. I would not I eat. Yeah, I would mean, but like with the Wii. You wouldn't eat when you no. played Wii? Bitch, I, I was just there to play like Mario Bros for like days. I broke my computer because someone said some rude shit to me. <laughs> Well, oh, the Wizard 101? And so I was like, and then I, it, I cost a thousand dollars. So. Oh, I remember, uh, it's my seventh grade year, uh, I would, I hated being in class, so I would make up lies and be like, oh, my friend's really mean to me, or I got pushed into a locker, or I really need to talk to the counselors, and I would just go to the counselors and sit there and skip class. My school was down the street from me, so I just walked to school, walked back, and... I went to school and I was running late and I really had to shit. <laughs> like, really bad. And I didn't like shitting in the bathrooms during school hours. So I didn't like to sink in or anything. I thought it was weird, awkward, whatever. So, <laughs> but I... Oh my god! What? This... You left the sink on? No, the other sink came on without me touching it. Paranormal. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go! This is paranormal. I have to go! <laughs> Okay, yeah, we really had to shit. So I was walking home from school, and I still had to shit. Like, I was hurting. And I started walking down the street with my brother. And what I did, I could see my house, but I couldn't make it. So I just kind of just, like, I just kind of sat down on the ground, and I shit myself. <laughs> yeah. I shit myself in the street. Yes. My mom came up to me. She drove to me, actually, and was like, did you, did you shit yourself? <laughs> I have a question. I have yes. a question. What's your question? What, is that top amnesia? <laughs> okay, so like, I used to always like pretend that I was like sick and stuff, and like our nurse would just give us like crackers and pop tarts <laughs> for being sick. Okay, that oh, no, was good. But I would pretend I was like sick and everything, and then one day like I went into the nurse's office, and she had like a bed in the back, so I went back there and I slept the entire day through school, and it came like six o'clock at night, and nobody knew where I was. And I was sitting in the nurse's office, and she had thought that I already left, but she was, like, sitting in there, and, in, like, in her little office area, and nobody knew where I was, and my mom was, like, calling the school, she's like, Skylar, like, where's Skylar? She's like, where's she at? And everything, and I was just, and I was, like, sitting in the back there, sleeping so peacefully, and everything, I was fine. <laughs> the nurse comes back, she's like, Skylar! <laughs> she's like, your mom's looking for you, and I was like, what? What time is it? I was like, what time is it? And she's like, she's like it's like 5, 30, 6 o'clock, and I was like, uh, I was like, I can't go. I used to lie. About being sick in the morning, like I just didn't want to get up. I, I still do that. I just did not want to get up. And <laughs> You're 18 school. years old. My so, mom will beat me if I go to school. 18 means shit. <laughs> it means nothing. 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 Does not mean nothing. Just because you turn 18, don't mean nothing. I'll stick in my ass, beat. That's so yeah. I was. So, but yeah, my, my dad be like, "Hey, wake up for school," and I just be like. I'm sick, my stomach hurts, sorry, and I go back to sleep. Wake up at noon, just eat a bowl of cereal, and go, like, watch TV or something. My mom come and be like, um, weren't you sick five minutes ago? And I'd be like, 
I got better. <laughs> be I, you ain't never skipping school again. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I know this is really off track, but did your parents ever just beat the fuck out of you with anything in sight? Yes! Oh my god! We had this conversation! Yes! yes! <laughs> my dad, one time, I think I was like five, and I was being a smart ass, right? <laughs> and so, we were outside, and, I was, and my dad was like, hand me that. I said, no. Because I was like, busy playing in the sandbox, and he goes, hand me that. And I was like, no! <laughs> and he goes, he goes, okay, bend over. And I was like, no! <laughs> and so, as one does, I stand up just to like walk away from him and he pulls me back to him, grabs a twig, uh, not twig, but like a branch and starts beating the fuck out of me with it. And I was like, dad, stop! I was like, dad! My mommy grabbed like a metal spoon and like when she was cooking and she used to be like, bah! and like, she hit me in my mouth one time and it was when I had braces and I started <laughs> crying because I was bleeding. And then I went in my closet and I kind of cried. <laughs> my mom beat me with a wooden spatula. <laughs> Bro, you know how like when parents say they're like, oh, like if you lie, like I'm gonna put a bar of soap in your mouth? My mom actually did that. I lied about, t I don't remember what I took from her. I took something from her room and I like lied about it. And she was like, she's like, fine, you're gonna learn your lesson. And she was like, we're going over to like your friend's house later. And I was like, oh, okay. So me thinking I got out of trouble, no. We went to our friend's house just for her to get a bar of soap. Cause we had like, you know, a little pump one. So we went over there to go get a bar of soap and I had to sit with a bar of soap in my mouth for an hour. An hour? An hour. An hour. She made me say, she's like, how does that taste? She goes, bet you're never gonna lie again, huh? And I was like, when I was three, my mom put hot sauce in my mouth cause I think I cussed on accident. And she was like, she's like, and you're never gonna cuss again, aren't you? This is triggering so many memories for me. I know. Okay, so I, uh, in my, I used to go to private school, right? And whenever I was really younger, they didn't like you say dang because it sounded like damn. They didn't like you say uh, heck because it sounded like hell. And so we couldn't say dang, heck, like anything along those. It had to be like oh my word or oh my goodness or something. Oh my oh word. My word. <laughs> something like that. And I was, I don't know. Speaking of that, so when, when I was the pre k pre k this this <laughs> woman, this woman was like oh my word, and I was like that's a bad word. <laughs> <laughs> also, this bitch and um. In gym one time, I said beep, and you know how? Because whenever they cuss on TV shows, sometimes it yeah. beeps it out. She thought beep was a bad word. Beep. Saying beep, and I was like beep. She goes, stop, that's a bad word. And I was like beep. <laughs> uh, they didn't like to say like ding or heck, right? And so I kept saying it, kept saying it, and um, everyone in that school was always like, ooh, that, always. They're like, ooh, I'm telling on Bro, you. I used to do that when they're like, ooh, ooh, you're yeah. selfish. I, I got so many referrals that day for saying dang. And my mom, and they made it sound like I was cussing. Like they made it be like, oh, he was saying so many bad words and blah, 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 like making it seem like I was legitimately cussing. So my mom takes me home and she goes, Aaron, come here. And I was like, okay. I walk into the bathroom and she peels open a bar of soap and she's like, Aaron, come here. And I was like, and she takes it and she goes, open your mouth. And I was like, she just plop, like <laughs> shoves that shit in my mouth. I had washed my mouth out and I was like, I wasn't even saying anything. And she goes, that's not what <laughs> and who said. And I was like, oh. <laughs> I remember when I lied to my friends. I was in third grade, right? Everybody was turning 10, I think. And I was, because I thought everybody was older than me. Everybody was turning 10. And I was 29. It was my birthday. I was only 29. So what I, what I told everybody was is that I was turning 10. So people were like, happy 10th birthday. They made me a car that had the like, number 10 on it and everything. They're like, happy birthday. And I was like, oh, thanks, guys. I'm 10 with you guys, whatever. So then my mom surprises me, brings cupcakes up to the school. And she's like, yeah, she's a big nine-year-old today. <laughs> Back to whenever around middle school, I um someone put a note in this girl Naomi's locker. Oh my god! <laughs> saying that I wanted to rip her head off and that I wanted to kill her. Was it What's him? your experience? Leave a comment down below. I was then called to the office and they were like, "Did you write this letter?" And I was like, "What the fuck?" I was like, "No." <laughs> And so, uh, yeah, that happened, and they took a handwriting sample, and they were ready to arrest me, and ready to take me to juvie, and ready to kick me out of the school. Who was like 11? I was 11, yeah. Who? What 11 year old? What is so messed up that they want to rip someone's head off for doing nothing? What 11 year old is strong enough to do that? Literally. But you know who it was? It was his best friend at the time. Oh my god, it was! <laughs> it was his best friend at the time. Oh my god. Who told you that? Your mom. <laughs> me and his mom are like this.
I'm about to. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Also, subscribe to these girls. They're amazing. They're really slow. <laughs> they drop everything they're doing whenever I'm really fucked up and I need to get it. Oh, yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. No, but we really do. We're those type of friends. Aaron exposed times 97. <laughs> I'm kidding. <sighs> and make sure to subscribe to this channel. What's up? My name's Ewan. I post on Wednesdays because you guys want to Wednesdays, and that's what I'm gonna do because you want to Wednesdays. <laughs> make sure you leave a comment down below just to make me know what you want to see in future videos. Make sure to subscribe to all my social media. The links will be down below. Also, links to my other videos will be down below as well. So if you want to see those, go check those out. Also, they have videos. Oh my god. You guys actually want to do this? <laughs> no, you can't look cute. You have to look like we're on, we're on, um, we're, uh, what is it? What is it? The San Francisco show. What? Full House! Oh my god! Oh, 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 Full House! <laughs> <laughs> that was so cringy. Alright. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys next week with a Wisdom Teeth video. Alright? Bye. I'm